Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Coding Toads, and today I will be showing you how to create this amazing effect that it looks exactly like um, the text being uh, written at the moment. So it's called a typing effect, or it could also be called a typewriter effect. Anyways, I'll show you just how to do that in a few seconds. So stay tuned if you want to learn how to create this amazing effect. Alright, so I have prepared a quick website, so here is the website, it has a little bit of um, HTML and CSS, and basically what you're going to want to do um, to start out first is um, create a paragraph and call it whatever you want and just leave it empty, and you can actually first write in something to see how the effect of how the text looks like, um, I've done it with CSS right here, but um, just leave it empty like this. So what we're going to be using in this tutorial is jQuery and a jQuery plugin called Type, which is amazing by the way, it looks, um, works perfectly. So um, the first thing you're going to want to do is head over to jQuery.com and click on download. And either you can download the compressed production, which is like really, really um, small file and it will load faster. Or you could also go ahead and download the uncompressed um, development version. Um, doesn't I think it has to be over 1.1 version, um, but I think the newest one is 2.2. So go ahead and download that. I have downloaded 1.12, the uncompressed right here, but it doesn't really matter. And the second thing that you're gonna that you're gonna have to download is. Um, th it's actually this website, matbolt.com slash demo slash type slash js, uh, dash js, and you're gonna click on download zip, and then you're gonna head over to js, uh, and you're gonna just copy a JavaScript file called typed, and it looks like this. So, probably you won't understand it, um, but I'll show you how to use it. So basically, oops, sorry. Uh, so basically, uh, once we have downloaded all the files, JavaScript files, and we have created our paragraph, I'm gonna show you how to use it. So the first thing we're gonna have to do is, of course, um, insert these JavaScript files. So order does matter here. So first, you're gonna insert your jQuery using the source tag, right, like this. Uh, and then you're gonna have to enter your um, plugin, so that's type the type plugin. So same way, script source equals type.js. And um, when we reload, nothing actually happens, but um, we're gonna use the type.js. It's a feature in type.js. So what we're gonna do is actually write script, not source, just script. Close that off like this, and here we're gonna enter our code. So basically, um, we're just gonna copy like this code here. Um, it's really fast forward, I'll explain it as we go, but you're just gonna paste it in here. And so basically, here, you're actually gonna type in um, the class or the ID of your paragraph that is gonna be typed. So in this case, it's typing text. But um, there's no way that jQuery is going to know whether it's an ID or a class, so we're just going to have to write uh, the symbol in front of it. So, uh, uh, pound sign typing uh, text. And then for strings, you just you can just go ahead and delete this. Or actually, if you refresh first, you can see that it types in something, which is amazing. Um, and you can do that with a comma. I mean, when you go to the website, it basically explains um, a lot of things. You can go ahead and check it out. But I'm just going to show you how to do the simple uh, typewriting text. So I'm just going to write hello world break. Uh, this is an amazing effect like this now when we save it and we refresh you see hello world is an amazing effect now what we can also do is change the type speed and I think I believe that it is in milliseconds so if you change to 100 that's gonna be one tenth of the second uh, per letter now if you change it to one uh, to a thousand of course it's gonna be in seconds 
And we don't want that, so I'm just gonna leave it at zero. Like this. Now, um, with this comma, uh, actually, if you can see this, we could do this. Um, basically, just close one off here and insert a code here. Oh, sorry, my bad. Um, here. No, wait, sorry. Here and insert a comma and generally just gonna start it off like this. Okay, so now when we refresh, we can see Hello World. It gets deleted. It gets deleted. Or actually, we can uh, remove the break tag because it's not necessary here. But see, it says Hello World. It gets deleted and says this is an amazing effect. And this is really a, an amazing effect. So basically, what we can do with this effect, actually, we could do a whole bunch of stuff. Um, you can add this code here for a. Uh, um, a blinker like this and um, you can go ahead and check out sites that use this plugin uh, here there is an amazing actually use of the code um, here there is also actually I don't see it here oh well uh, anyway you got the point but you can actually do a whole lot of stuff now I don't think this is the original website of the plugin you can go ahead and search for it i don't know i got it from that website but um basically i uh, can do like everything just on one line and if you put a comma between the two strings you can make it so one gets deleted after it gets typed and then the other one gets typed so yeah hope you guys enjoyed um that was it for this tutorial and i messed that outro a little bit but yeah anyways um if you found this tutorial helpful make sure to hit that like button below this video if you have any questions make sure to leave them also in the comment section below and uh yeah i'll see you in the next one so bye guys and see ya